Here at the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland, doctors are unfolding a story about a disease in which patients can flip a calendar and forecast days that they will be ill, days they know they will feel bad, every 21 days for the rest of their lives. The medical research story begins with dogs, collie puppies. Some collies are afflicted, as are humans, with this disease, except that they become ill more often, every 12 days. Not all collie puppies are affected, only some of those which are gray. Every time the calendar measures off another 12 days, their lives are in danger. Their resistance drops way down, a fast-moving infection, and they could die. The disease itself is pretty rare, but doctors say the reason they are studying it is because it may hold the key to other blood diseases, anemia and leukemia, which afflict thousands of Americans. A frequent visitor to the clinical center, the NIH Research Hospital, is young Jack Whitmore, who has this periodic disease. Unlike the gray collies, he has a good chance to survive his bouts of illness, but his activities are regulated by the calendar. Jack, how was your last attack? Well, I noticed it uh, two days before I really felt I was crabby, and I had a, a couple sores in my mouth over here, and I couldn't eat, and I had pretty pretty much swollen glands. Um, I, I had a sore stomach. It, was, it wasn't as bad as when I had my colostomy, but I had a pretty bad sore stomach. And how long did it last? Oh, four days around there. I went to school. I didn't go to school that week because I was just getting over it on Friday. The medical name of this disease is cyclic neutropenia. We interviewed Dr. Sheldon Wolf, head of the Laboratory of Clinical Investigation at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. This disease is a model disease for the study of the control of and maintenance of normal levels of white blood cells, which are our first line of defense against infection. White blood cells are made within the bone marrow, the red area, and then are released to go out into the circulation. It has been defined in studies within our institute that both cyclic neutropenia of man and of the gray collie dog is due to a defect in production of white blood cells within the bone marrow. These young puppies have been brought to NIH where it is hoped their contributions to medical research will help both humans and other collies born with a similar blood defect. Collie breeders hope that a test can be developed to determine when an animal has this defect, which it can pass on to its pups. Of course, our concern is directed toward the humans who suffer from this disease. We believe the condition is much more common than reports in medical journals would indicate. By studying the blood pattern of these collies, we are learning a great deal about the blood pattern of other diseases such as leukemia and aplastic anemia. Since the bone marrow is the source of the problem, we gave one of these collies a bone marrow transplant. So far, the results are extremely encouraging but they are not yet applicable to humans. This is a story to be continued. Medical research has not yet written the final chapter, but animals and humans are helping each other and both in turn helping scientists learn more about serious blood disorders at the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. <laughs>